oil that sits on the shelf for quite a long period of time have the additives settle out to the bottom. So I had this bottle of oil in my garage. It's been sitting on my shelf, I would say, easily five years without you know, ever being touched. And so this is what we've got. Let me turn it around. I can see by my movement here, this is the most movement this has ever experienced in, you know, five years. Nothing more than this has been happening to it. You can see there's a date on the bottom of it. This is a good oil, APNSN, top of the line at its time, uh, dated from October of 2016. And so I've got two test kits. I'm going to send them off to the lab. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the top off the bottle with this so as to not disturb the contents. I'm going to use this turkey baster that I've set up over the years to remove oil and brake fluid and other stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off. And then I'm going to withdraw just from the top enough to fill one of these bottles. And then I will carefully dry out the middle part, you know, roughly down to here, throw that away. And then I'm going to dry out from the very bottom of it and put it in the other can. That was put into the bottle label top. Okay, so at this point, I've got about three quarters of the material out in order to get the sample for the bottom. I'm gonna, instead of what I've been doing is, you know, drawing right off the top surface, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom uh, with the suction. I'm going to pull completely off the bottom for the two samples it'll take to, to fill this thing three quarters full. We've just about got all we need. And we'll cap this one. So those are good. And then what I'm going to do is hold this up. So I don't know if you can see, it does look like something settled on the bottom. There's just a little bit of dark material. Just a little. Rub the whole bottom of this, get all that dark sludge stuff mixed in. Okay. Definitely, if there's something to be seen, and there's stuff on the bottom. We definitely want to see it. Okay, takes care of that. There goes the top. It's hard to see, but hopefully you can get some idea when we look at these. They all look pretty much the same color, so if there's a huge difference in what's been in the bottom versus the top, it's not, not really showing up in the color. So we've reached the results part of this little experiment. And I just want to briefly go over them. A little bit of discussion. I know you can't see this real well in the video. Uh, a still frame picture of this I'll put right at the end of the video if you want to look at detail of it. And so if, as you may recall from the early part of the video, we sent in three samples, a sample from the top, from the middle, and from the bottom. The bottom part, I saw a little bit of discoloration literally sitting on the bottom of the bottle. And so I stirred this sample part after this part was taken out and this part was taken out. What was left and a little bit of whatever looked like it had sat on the bottom. I stirred it thoroughly before taking this sample. So when we look at this, this 
parts up here, these are mostly the wear metals. And this is brand new oil, so you wouldn't expect there to be wear metals, and there isn't. Essentially, there are no wear metals, and that makes sense, it's new oil. So then the rest of this stuff essentially comes down to additive packages. And it's the additives, you know, people are talking about, well, the additive package in your oil is going to, you know, sink to the bottom if you store the oil on the shelf. And so you need to shake up your oil if it's been sitting for a while. So that's what we're looking at here. We're just not seeing a difference. Uh, 108 of boron at the top, 102 in the middle, and 111 at the bottom. You know, no consistent pattern and really no significant difference. It's not enough to have any concern about. Calcium is one of the big ones. Uh, well, 1997 at the top, 1923 in the middle, and 2079 at the bottom. Magnesium, essentially the same across the board. Molly, essentially the same across the board. Uh, phosphorus, which everybody likes, uh, 698, 666, and 707. So pretty much the same. Zinc, 886, 848, 873, zinc's pretty much the same. Viscosity is pretty much the same, 15.9, 15.8, 16.0. So, you know, what we're looking at is nothing seems to have settled out. Uh, so I would say, you know, myth busted. You know, let it sit on the shelf. It doesn't matter if you feel better about shaking the bottle. That's great. It's not going to hurt anything. But it's, you know, if you forgot to shake the bottle and now you've put it in the engine, don't get all worried about it. You're not throwing away all your additives in the last few drops that got thrown in the trash with the bottle. So that's it.